Hey, hey, it's your girl Lay back with another pick a card video. Today's pick a card is all about what people love the most about you. This could be taken in a romantic way or a platonic way. Honestly, it's whatever comes up in the cards. Just want to say that now until indefinitely, 100% of the proceeds of my tarot card readings will be donated to a COVID-19 relief fund. My readings start at $5 and you can find details and pricing down below in the in the description box back to my usual spiel you know same old same old this is a general reading meaning everything won't resonate take what does leave the rest if you would like a specific reading tailored to you then you can get a personal reading with me send your question to tarot by layla at gmail.com and if you like this video please consider liking it commenting and subscribing for more all right, from your right to left pile one with this blue sunflower, pile two with this flower, I don't know what this is, pile three with this yellow flower, pile four with this beautiful orange flower, and pile five with this purple flower here. So choose the pile or piles you are most drawn to and then you can fast forward to your reading using the timestamps down below. I'll see you at your reading. Bye bye. Hey, hey, pile number one, you are in the right place. Now let's see what people love about you. It's all about you. So your first card is the seven of inspiration and the seven of wands in the reverse. So with this card, I'm getting that you're very free spirited, you're very open. People like that you are easy to talk to. You don't seem like you have a lot a lot of walls up or a lot of boundaries. You just feel like you're seems like you're very free um very open and that's very endearing to people um let's see what else how a lot of cards here we also have the queen of pentacles that you're a very abundant person i feel like you're very generous so you're always you know willing to share or you know lend people money or just your time or help out in some way so you're very generous kind giving spirit for sure um and you could be on like the motherly or fatherly side. You're very mature and that could, you know, that's attractive as well to people. Okay, we have the 11th house. It came, in, it came out reverse. It says the edge. 11th house. Which sign is that? Is that Aquarius? Capricorn? Aquarius. Well, it says friendship, group creativity, humanity, humanity. Ah, yeah, this is that Aquarius. So, yeah, you could be a little bit edgy, um, a little different. And people like that. It seems like you're not afraid to be yourself. You're not afraid to be out there. Um, you could uh, feel like you might be into conspiracy theories or you just have, you know, opinions or beliefs that are outside the norm. Um, and people love that you're brave enough to just be yourself despite, you know, you know, not, you know, going with the status quo. Um, six of spears or six of wands. Yeah, I feel like you're a very confident person. You could be, um, you could find yourself often in the spotlight or you just have a lot of admirers. I do feel like you're a very attractive person, um, romantically as well in a romantic sense. This is the card. Oh, you may have Leo in your chart, but this is a person that, you know, just gets attention without any effort. Um, they have eyes on them. People are just willing to listen to them and follow them you could be a really good leader as well this is like um this tells me that you're charismatic and that you're also charming as well let's see what else will of fortune i'm also getting sagittarius from this as well so will of fortune yeah this is like um very dynamic energy like i feel like you're very energetic um, you may like to travel a lot. Uh, it's just your energy is very lighthearted, very fun, and that's just very attractive. It's very, it feels very good to be around. Um, yeah, you, when you come into the room, you kind of shake things up. You may be the life of the party, or you just, you know, you always have something interesting to say, or you just always add to the space. Um, and people like that change. And you know, you're the one to call if you know people are if people are feeling bored or um they want some pizzazz or something you know you just lighten up the room lighten up the atmosphere let's see what else 
Ace of Wands in the reverse. Interesting here. Why is this the reverse? So Ace of Wands, a bright, it's like a very passionate card. Always ready to get something started. Uh, let me see. What else? We have Rebellion. Okay, yeah, you do. I feel like, yeah, you, I'm getting a lot of fire energy. Leo, uh, Sagittarius, and Aries. For some reason, I want to say Virgo as well. Um, that may or may not resonate with you. And we have true love this is a romance of a lifetime now keep in mind um with this i'm getting that you may be a little bit of a heartbreaker pile one like i feel like a lot of people you know i feel like people get close to you and they think that they're close with you but they're really not like i feel like there's a ton of people who feel like they have this special close bond with you and it's like a lot of people feel that way <laughs> it's just not true you just have you just make people feel special like that um and i do see like this rebellious side to you with the ace of wands in the reverse but i don't know why i came out in reverse i feel like this may be hidden largely um, your rebellious side or your attempt to hide it um, because you know you you know you have this energy and this essence that like shakes things up and um, it just gets things going I feel like you may be a little bit fearful of like expressing that side you have this like untapped you know creative potential or just you have this whole like hidden side to you that a lot of people don't get to see and I feel like it's you sometimes as brave as you are you're afraid to like fully step into that rebellious energy or that energy of being different and unique sometimes sometimes you just want to fit in um but again people just admire you for you obviously they they admire you when you are when you're bravely weird or you're just so open and free and you just, you know, give to others and you're, you feel, and you're just okay and comfortable in your own skin and your personality. And that's just, people love that about you. And I say, Pile One, keep being you because you're pretty dope. Additional insights, uh, specific messages for you because her eyes are closed in this car and in her face is covered with hair this card you need to step out of your shell a little bit more um yeah people love when you're outside of your comfort zone again like your light liberates others and gives other people permission to be their crazy wacky zany selves as well so and you may be just a little different like you may be like this queen of pentacles maybe tatted up or just have an appearance or you may be the type that dyes your hair different colors or you know you like to try things that are like out of the norm like piercings and stuff or you know something like that and nothing wrong with that don't be afraid to do that um but yeah your energy is just so good it's just so lighthearted and fun um i just feel like shaking things up you shake things up um yeah people just like being around you i just thought of i don't know if you've watched twilight i'm pretty sure most people have but like um bella when she had her baby i forget i think his name was jasper the vampire that could feel people's emotions he like would like stalk her stalk bella and he said it's because she was like so happy she felt so happy and she just he just liked being around her basically and i feel like that's you people just like your energy so keep being you pal one and that is your reading if you liked it please like comment subscribe and thank you for watching bye bye Hey, hey, pile number two, let's get into your reading. You are in the right place. What do people love most about you? So your first card is temperance. I feel like you have a very zany personality. You could be a little avant-garde, a little out of the out of the norm. But people love that you just seem very calm. You have this very calm energy. You know, you're pretty down to earth. And like just your presence is very calming. And people like that calmness, that calm energy. 
Um, and I feel like you overall, you're pretty level headed. It takes a lot, I feel like, to get you really riled up, to get you really angry. And people really don't see that side of you because you just, you just, just so calm and go with the flow. This reminds me of Taurus energy. Um, King of Cups. Yeah, you're very emotionally balanced, like emotionally stable, emotionally available. Like your emotions are in check. This is, why I say, I want to say Capricorn. Okay, that might resonate with you. But this is uh, water signs, Pisces. I want to say Leo too. I don't know why. But Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But yeah, you're just, you're not afraid to be like emotional. And I, when I say emotional, I mean, you're not afraid to express your emotions. But you keep your emotions in check. Um especially if you're a man you're not a, it's um people could like really be in awe of that because you know you're just so expressive and if you're a woman um you you're uh you express your emotions well you communicate your emotions well and I feel like you your face your face really um displays like you have a really nice smile your fla- your face really displays like your emotions and what you're going through and usually you have a smile on your you're happy and lighthearted um but like you're just pretty open emotionally Taurus so Taurus Virgo Capricorn did I say Taurus earlier so you could have this energy you could have a stubborn side but I think people like that about you people like that you probably have really good fashion sense as well or you know your your calm nature and and yeah you can be a little bit stubborn but people like that I feel like people take your stubbornness as determination as um fighting for a cause as like not giving up on your beliefs so they like that you hold fast to what you believe in um and you're loyal as well let's see what else eight of spears interesting so I feel like you're a good communicator for sure good at communicating verbally and expressing your emotions as well Uh, let's see have the death in reverse so yeah I feel like you are just super calm you don't really let things get to you like even things that you know would really shake up an ordinary person for you it's just it's not nothing like it's not like you're unaffected or like you're emotionless it's just that you just don't allow it to you don't allow it to disturb your peace or disrupt your sense of self or to like take you off balance your balance is everything to you balance is the number one priority and you just want to be remain level-headed and calm at all times and people admire that that how you are able to like bounce back really quickly um especially if you're if you encounter a difficulty a life difficulty you just bounce back pretty quickly and people admire that people even envy that about you two of swords and this is bad you use an echolocation i feel like you're very intuitively led like uh because bats are blind basically um let's see what else comes out got Agatha Christie trickery (laughs) so you could have a a fun playful side um but I'm getting yeah you might like to do like I feel like you have a really good sense of humor so you could be a jokester you could be the funny friend in the group or you could just often be called funny you make a lot of jokes have a really good sense of humor often lighthearted. um let's see you deserve love you're lovable yeah you're very lovable I feel like a lot of people have their eye on you or like you have a lot of admirers like people clamoring for your attention but you don't be you don't be seeing them I don't think you really see them like that I feel like you're just living your life and when people or when it's discovered that someone has a crush on you or you're just like what me like you, you don't really believe it um but you have a lot of admirers and you need to know that you're hot stuff um back to this trickery this makes me think of wearing a mask i do feel like you kind of hide yourself i feel like you struggle with indecisiveness and sometimes i feel like 
this is giving me Gemini energy because Gemini they're like different people around different people <laughs> the twins you know um I feel like sometimes you and that's a Libra thing too like I'm just all the signs basically but I, I'm getting this energy of like a chameleon, like um, not knowing who to be, wanting to please people. Um, no, no, but no, it's not, you know, less, less focus on pleasing people, please yourself. And sometimes it could be hard for you to choose, like for how do you to be hard for you to be true to you and hard for you to really let yourself your true self shine and show but you have to know that you're lovable you're worthy um no matter what face you show to the world um you don't have to always be this strong bounce back at all times person light-hearted balanced emotion uh, emotionally stable calm like that's all good but you're not perfect so don't even try to be perfect like it's okay to have an off day or to even be a little bit moody okay but people do love that you're you have this sense of balance and calmness and yeah well that's your reading pal number two thank you for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe leave a comment below if it resonated with you as well until next time bye bye hey hey pile number three you're in the right place let's get into your reading what do people love about you your first card is the three of materials in the reverse or the three of what's it the three of pentacles so i feel like you're just very easy to get along with you're very cooperative you don't like to start arguments you're very go with the flow um Sometimes people like to try to push, like push you or like they try to take you as a pushover, but you're not a pushover. You just like to be cooperative. You like to work well. You work well with others um, because, you know, you're you just like to go with the flow. You're easygoing and people do admire that, that you're just no drama, low drama. Um, what else? People love that you're a hard worker for sure. Like you don't shy away from hard work um your boss at work or you know if you're still in school at school your teachers they may see you like if they have a project that needs to be done or any extra work they're like okay i'm gonna give it to pal three because i know they're gonna get the job done and i know they do good work and you whatever you do you put your heart and soul into it you do your best work and people can see people can see that your passion people can see like how hard you work and it just shows it just shines whatever you do whatever job you do um whatever school you go to whatever career adventure people can like they just admire your work ethic your work your work ethic is top notch it's high quality and people admire that about you um chiron healing you're you're always on a journey of self-discovery you're always working on yourself you're always working on healing yourself and you're not afraid to face that shadow side or those ugly parts about yourself and you're not afraid to own up to your mistakes you don't um shy away from you know ugly things you may have done or ugly parts of yourself and people are like in awe of you like people are just in awe of your bravery of your transparency of your ability to heal yourself you have uh this this innate innate you know it's born it's within you this ability to heal yourself and you come across as so healing to others as well you give permission others to heal themselves when they see that you are not afraid to be yourself and love yourself scars flaws mistakes and all beautiful the sun in reverse interesting yeah let's see what else and what is this the page of wands i believe and let me see the moon in reverse yeah okay i feel like you have a lot of deep-seated emotions you may struggle with um mental illness like depression or anxiety um 
and you may do a very good job at hiding this you may appear to be just light-hearted fun on the surface but deep down you often struggle with your battles with your life battles or with your um internal mental battles um and like i said you're good at healing um yourself but healing is often very painful and sometimes you take the solitary route you you may be a loner um however i'm saying people admire your they admire your strength um they love the way you wear it you don't look like what you've been through however i'm cautioning you that you know you may need to like uh when you do your healing um don't try to hide it don't try to hide this this part from you like everybody experiences you know those dark nights of the soul those down times you don't have to appear to be this la 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 all as well person on the surface but people do love that about you because um they know like especially the ones closest to you they know that you go through struggles and they just and they admire like your strength your fortitude and um how you're just always you're pretty optimistic I feel but you're always just um willing to like look on the bright side of things no matter what you've been through if you've been through a lot you just you're not afraid also to start over I'm not afraid to start over. You you look at life as each like hiccup as a lesson, as a life lesson. You learn from it. Oh my gosh, there's a bug on the one show. Okay, okay, focus, focus. Um, but yeah, you're just always in a, um, this is like Aries, Leo, Sag, energy like a uh, lighthearted, ready to go, ready to go on an, an adventure. Um, and that's. That's very attractive. We also have the soul, Emily Dickinson. Um, yeah, you're very deep. You're very deep, very spiritual. Like, you have layers upon layers upon layers. People like that about you. I feel like you could also have some creative ability. Like, you might be a poet like Emily Dickinson or a writer of some sort. Um, or, you know, a musician, you could express your way yourself creati- creatively in that regard. Like, yeah, very, very deep, 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 deep. Um, a lot of hidden, hidden feelings, um, hidden memories. Now we also have getting to know each other. I feel like you can be a little bit tough to get to know. Like people, you may have a lot of acquaintances, but not a lot of like real friends, um, it says here, as you reveal your animal selves to each other, you, your bond deepens. So work on revealing more of yourself, especially to your close friends. Um, yeah, I know that's like a side message, but you know what? I got to read the cards how I see them. Uh, but people do, you know, they love your death. How I feel like when people ask your opinion, you may take a little while to respond, but you always give an in-depth um deep well thought out answer so yeah that's pretty much all i'm getting for you pal number three (laughs) if you liked it give it a thumbs up and comment uh, if it resonated with you and subscribe for more until next time bye bye hey hey pal number four here are your cards you are in the right place let's get into your reading about what do people love about you have the fool they love that you just you don't care you yolo all day you take risks you do crazy foolhardy things you may get into a lot of trouble but you have a good time i feel like you take a lot of adventures a lot of take a lot of you go on a lot of adventures and you take a lot of risks yeah you're not afraid to put yourself out there and you're not afraid to try new things and you're always up to something okay you remind me of the twins from Harry Potter, Fred and Juan, Ron Weasley, RP, RP. Um, one of them passed away, but um, yeah, I feel like yeah, you're just always up to no good, but you you always have a good time. You're fun to be around. People love that you're like, you know, sort of like the bad boy, bad girl kind of vibe. Let's see what else. Eight of Swords. 
And this is the high priestess as well, I believe, or justice. Um, I'll look this up in a second. Let's see. Venus, love. So you love love. You could be a Taurus or have Taurus, Libra as a Venus sign or you just, you know, just love love or Libra, Libra for sure. Um, yeah, you're a love bug, um, the hopeless romantic type, but it's, it's charming. It's charming how innocent you are when it comes to love, how you wear your heart on your sleeve, how honest you are. You may fall a little fast, a little too fast at times, but people like that, you know, that you aren't afraid. Like, no matter how many times you've been hurt, you're not afraid to get back out there and try again, and that's very inspiring. Um, you have the seven of cups in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> a lot of times you can be all over the place. Like, you want to do this thing, you want to do that thing. This is like Aries energy. Like, uh, we always hop from hobby or activity to activity. One month we're into this. The next month we have a different hobby or we do, we're into this. We're always picking up something new. We we don't like to be bored and we just always like new things new 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 but again that energy is attractive and people like that about you that you're always like into something new and it's it's funny to them all right so back to this card this is the eight of spades or eight of swords and justice so you are very fair and balanced so this is libra as well you can see both sides to, to a situation People are calling you to be a mediator because you can be objective. Um, you're very balanced. Uh, what's the word? You can. What's the word? Yeah, you could just see both sides to things. Um, you can be unbiased. Um, and I feel like and that comes across as well in the way you communicate. However, I would be, I would watch out because this is also the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is the victim card of feeling trapped. Um, yeah, you, I feel like maybe you find yourself often in the middle of things, like in between two people or in between two situations or something. Like somehow you always find yourself in the middle. People do admire you for being fair, balanced being able to see both sides but oftentimes that gets you into trouble so you know watch out for that that resonates we also have what's this this is the page of swords i believe um i feel like you're very inquisitive you may be a talker no problem with that but that's attractive as well the people love that about you that you're so inquisitive you're very curious you could always you'd be reading something on an article a book learning something nonfiction, self-help um and just curious about other people you may ask a lot of questions um but people like that, you know, that you're interested in getting to know them and that, you know, you always feel like you're a good listener. Like you always listen to them. It may be more so for like your own entertainment because you like to you're just very curious. But people like that about you. Um, I also have a nine of wands. I feel like, yeah, people admire as well uh your strength your fortitude like you have overcome a lot in your life and people really look at you as a testimony to you know you know a testimony a source of inspiration um yeah like because yeah like i said i said it's another problem but you don't look like what you've been through uh you just you're just the bomb the bomb.com people like they look at you and they go what how are they so happy? What do they have? And they think it's something external. They think, oh, you're happy because you have a boyfriend or you're happy because you have this job or you have this degree. And no, it's just, it's something inner. You have this inner strength, strength, this inner fortitude. And people just admire you, how you just persevere. Um, last two cards, you have the intellect. Yeah, very intellectual. So that's also libra uh, aquarius and gemini as well um but yeah you're very intellectual you could be um an advocate like you could be yeah you could donate to charities or you could just be uh um into 
political causes, stuff like that. People admire that about you and that. You're just a very good conversationalist. And I feel like you know a little bit about a lot of things. You're very well-educated and well-informed whether you go to school or not or whether you have a degree or not. Um, yeah, you're an, intel- you're an intelligent person. And people admire, you know, how eloquent you are, the way you communicate. We also have engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Um, I feel like I'm not getting a love message here. I'm, I'm looking at the way she's like eyeing this man or whatever. I feel like you're also very detail oriented. I always think of Virgo. Um, people um, come to you when they need an extra set of eyes to look over something like a contract or maybe good at like editing works and writing or something but you yeah I feel like you're a good set of eyes you're a good second opinion and when people need like you give good advice as well people need advice or something or they need an extra set of eyes they come to you because you're again your opinion is pretty fair balanced and you give good advice and you can see both sides and I've said this already but yeah people just admire how reliable your opinion is and how trustworthy your viewpoint is um but that's all that's all i'm getting that's your reading pile number four thank you for watching like comment and subscribe until next time bye bye hey hey pile number five my last beautiful pile you are in the right place this is your what do people love about you reading let's get right into it first card nine of inspiration yeah i just feel like your life story just your overall who you are is very inspiring you just inspire others your level of success your history your past you may have a a deep past a hard past and when people hear your past or your story and then they see where you are now they just get so They become so amazed. They get so inspired by, like, all you've overcome. And it's just inspiring. I don't know what else it says. It's inspiring. And they they just love that, just how much of a boss you are and how much much you took control of your life and you came out on top. Um, Ace of Wands. And I believe this is the Strength card as well. Yeah, Strength they people love your strength they admire your strength your fortitude and you have so much passion this is leo aries sagittarius but you just you're so passionate you're just a go-getter you're not afraid to push past your fears and go after you want what you want and you're not afraid to start new things you could be a business owner um an entrepreneur getting that as well like that is just inspiring how you follow your passions you're very aligned in your purpose and people want to be like you they want to be as aligned as you are as in tune as you are as passionate about life you know you could be one of the lucky few that actually like your job and like actually love your job or you might just really enjoy school or whatever you're doing right now um yeah it's just your passion is infectious and you see the different colors the similar colors i mean orange and orange orange look up the orange colored chakra solar plexus confidence sorry so cancer the doula so you have cancer in your chart um you have this motherly side you know you have the bold badass side to you but i feel like you have this motherly maternal or fatherly paternal side this caring nurture nurturing side to you that only maybe the closest people to you can experience you could be the one that takes care of other people while they go out you could like be the babysitter oftentimes but you just really love you love your family you love your friends and you would go if you go to war with them like you really 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 cherish your relationships uh your friendships and your family member relationships you really cherish those um and family is everything to you strength again 
guns. I can't make this up. Like, strength. Like, you just, your strength is what people love about you. Like, you're so inspiring. Like, they just love how you have such confidence and, like, such bravery to go after your dreams, your passions, and you've just been through so much and people just see how how you handle things you just handle things so flawlessly you make it look easy okay you make it look easy pal five have the five of swords in the reverse as well as the seven of cups in the reverse um inner demons facing your inner demons is what i see here um as powerful as you are, as inspiring as you are, you often beat yourself up way too much. You, you're too hard on yourself. And you're often confused about your life's direction when you don't need to be, when all you need to do is follow your inner flame, your, your calling. Um, let me see what else comes on. History, Jamaica, Kincaid. Yeah, you have a very interesting deep past history um your childhood you know maybe was rough or not the best or it you just or just may have been very interesting like you could have been like an army brat moved around a lot or you could have lived in different places and speak different languages or something I don't know it's just different in some way or um it's very like it's a story your history is a story okay we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Now, I'm not seeing this like a in a romantic sense. Okay, I'm seeing this as a fear of intimacy. Fear of intimacy. As, you know, as much as you love your family and your friends, you fear intimacy sometimes. Like... You could be that super caring person that doesn't like hugs or doesn't like being touched, but you're like super sensitive and caring. Something like that. Some like something like that. It doesn't make sense. Some something like this off. Like you don't really maybe you don't really show your caring side like that, but you do. It may be reserved. Um yeah, I just feel like you, you hold yourself back a lot. Um, you can be even stronger than what you are now. You can be even more of an inspiration to others. Just don't hold yourself back. And, you know, you have to be firm and rooted uh, in your decisions. In your decisions. Sometimes I feel like you can, you know, live in the past too much. You can reminisce too much or focus on the future as well too much. You know, they say we spend 46% of our time either thinking about the past or the future. So that leaves only about half the time spent in the present at any given time, which is crazy. So you just need to decide, you know, or not to live or not to believe the illusions that are you that you draw up about your life. Um, so that's pretty much all I'm getting. If that makes sense to you, give, leave me a comment down below. Like this video, subscribe for more. Until next time, bye-bye.